Welcome back. What we want to focus on uh, in this session is setting up your personal LinkedIn page to attract uh, more attention to you as a business professional. We want to work on maximizing your presence on LinkedIn and take advantage of ways you can be located best by people that are looking for your type of expertise. Uh, we'll focus in on taking advantage of keywords. Keywords in LinkedIn works a lot like it does in the world of Google. And with that, you know, hopefully attract some attention to yourself. So let's take a look at your typical uh, LinkedIn page. And I'm going to use myself as the victim here. When you log in, you'll see that you'll come to your home page. And in order to uh, get starting to maximize your personal profile, what you do is drag, of course, your uh, cursor over here to the profile in the toolbar above and then move down to Edit Profile. And that's going to open up the screen for you to be able to do so many different things. Uh, and, you know, from editing the background, uh, which we're not going to go into so much today, uh, this is a rotating uh, prompt screen up here to try to get you involved in more and more things. Uh, so every time you log in, they're going to ask you if you want to update different aspects of your personal profile. But I'm going to X out of this. In essence, what I want to start to work on is editing things like your name, uh, your background, your education, uh, and the very basics of getting you started on the road to being discovered on LinkedIn. Once I've hit the uh, edited profile from up here on this, you'll see that in all cases it opens up a uh, pencil which allows us to edit things. Now, as you can see in my uh, title line, my name line is all I put in is my name, but I did include my designations. I'd recommend that you do that as well. You've earned them. Uh, it might give you some credibility while people are out searching. This next area is, is really kind of important. I find that when I search a lot of people on LinkedIn, they have very boring and vanilla uh, uh, titles to their jobs. Really, people aren't searching for owner of agency in Hamilton, Ohio. You know, they want to look for people, and I would say, you know, use the adjectives to best describe how you feel that you're going to uh, maybe enhance your profile for people searching. There's a cool thing with the tool here, and I'm going to open it up. You type in this line what you want to put, and I would suggest that you change from your boring old, I'm the owner or I'm a commercial producer. Give us something with a little bit more gusto. And they give you some choices because they're going to give you some examples, but they're also going to say, who's some other competitors in your area or your area of expertise that you can hone in on? So take the time to write out uh, what you feel your title best explains you for. Next is you, where you're going to uh, modify your experiences and what you do presently. And when you click on that, it brings you down to the different areas uh, that you've had jobs for. What I'll tell you about is uh, you can add a position by just, again, hitting this click button here, and you'll be able to add on a position. I've listed my current jobs here where I'm doing things like I'm a, a continuing education instructor, looking to be hired by other associations and states, and then also um, my function at the agency. I am a principal, but I also focus in on the fact that not that I'm an owner, um, I don't think that's going to get me any kudos from a consumer. I focus on what I do from a uh, sales position. You can edit any one of these by clicking on the button and, again, change it. Put the time period, where you do business, and this is the area that I really want you to focus on. I'm going to show you this again. Is This area down here is where you really get to work on the keywords. I take time to list out 10 or 12 keywords of areas of coverage that you excel in and you think the people will search and try to find you based on that. Uh, one of the things I really focused in on, you'll see in a lot of my examples, is I've focused in on the cyber coverages as far as that's concerned. So again, you'll come down here and as you can see, by, let me scroll up a little bit, you can add a position. You can enhance the positions that you already have just by going into the little marker areas there. Another thing I tell you to focus on while you're uh, listing your educations or you're listing your uh, previous occupations, try to focus on listing occupations that have led you to where you are today. Not so much that you were a paper boy or a babysitter in junior high school, but things that worked towards building your professional career. 
That doesn't mean that it has to be in the industry you're in now. There might be things that you did in previous industries that you feel that have really developed you. Next area I want to focus in on, and I'm going to skip over on the skills and endorsement. That will be for another, is to get your education. And so we can add educational levels. What I did is I basically listed my uh, college and high school experience. I think that you might be able to garner some adventure or uh, some advantage from this, especially if you studied in an area that you moved on into professionally. But I think that there's an opportunity here for legacy uh, and people that really like affinity type of uh, relationships. So maybe you could take advantage because you went to the Ohio State University uh, or you went to where I went to, Wheeling Jesuit University in Wheeling, West Virginia. <clears throat> Next, I've added certifications. So if you have professional certifications, degrees, designations, things that are going to increase your uh, profile, I would certainly take advantage of that. Um, one of the things going back up to the top of the screen, and one of the last things I want to focus in on this session in your uh, set, signing up for LinkedIn is working on your address. If you look at your LinkedIn address and you've not done anything to customize it, you'll see that it has your name followed by about 32,000 digits uh, and letters. really doesn't focus on bringing attention to what you do. So again, if you click on this, it's going to open up here in the side where you see your public profile URL. And again, next to it, you have the opportunity to click on the pencil. And this is the area where you try to find something that I think des uh, designates what you do for a living. And that's how people will search to try to find you. In my case, it's Mark Riley Insurance. So again, this is an area that's largely overlooked and ignored. It's way people will be communicating for you, and also it's a key way to move you up into the search area. That really is uh, going to cover what we're going to go over in this session. Uh, tune in for some further episodes. We're going to work on things like uh, getting endorsements, uh, look on advanced searches, uh, how to maximize joining groups, how to form a group. So those are future uh, things that we'll be working on on these InBuzz videos, and thanks for your attention today.